Maybe I can ask you, Helen, in conclusion, is there one particular glimpse of Lenin that you're particularly proud of having pinned to the page? Oh, his arrest in Poland in 1914. Actually, nothing has been said about that. And I think the ultimate joy of that was to really recover a completely lost part of the story, which was that when he when he was arrested in 1914 in this tiny village called Biały Dunajec, the local Polish socialists, but also the local respectable Jewish citizens of Galicia, precisely the same Jews who disappeared in the Holocaust, all got together and petitioned for his release as a good and decent, honest man. And when they, you know, Lenin was let out of jail, he came very close to being taken out and shot. He went back to gather his belongings and had no money to get on the train out of Galicia with his wife and his mother-in-law. And he went back to the local Jewish shopkeeper, Mendel Singer, who'd been one of the honourable citizens who'd come to his defence, and borrowed the money to get out of Poland. And some time later, a year or so later, Lenin returned the money with his thanks. And I managed to get in touch with someone, it's a long story, but with someone in America who was related to that Jewish shopkeeper. And she had a photograph of him and his family, including her great uncle, who had sat on Lenin's knee when he visited the shop. And I thought, oh, well, it doesn't get better than that. You know, this is a real little tiny part of the jigsaw, but it's a part of lost history. Helen Rappaport. Conspirator, Lenin in Exile, is out now in paperback. You can find full details about the book, plus several million more, by going to the Blackwell Online website at blackwell.co.uk. That's all for this edition of the Blackwell Podcast, so thank you for listening. And until next time, goodbye.